Justin was um, the Gold Coast and the Commonwealth Games, everything that you, you'd hoped for? Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it, um, to be honest. Uh, it was a good experience. Um, I think, obviously, would have liked to have won that Fiji game. It was quite tough, even now, looking back, a bit gutted that we didn't get our win. Um, but I think uh, the team and the boys were excellent and made me feel part of of, of the of the group, really, which was, which was good for me. Fiji were uh, were some side, weren't they? They were, yeah, and um, that's why it was quite hard to take, really, because well, we were winning with 50 seconds left or whatever it was, and we had a chance right to the end to, uh, when we were more or less on their five-yard line, last play of the game, to, to win it. Um, but they just, I don't know, they just create tries out of nothing, really. It was like one of their tries, we thought um, Jerry Tuway was just going to go into touch, and next thing you know, he's dancing down the line, and they scored a try off it, so it's... It's one of them, but that's, that's sevens for you where anything can happen you know, at any time. Where does all this, uh, you know, the whole experience rank, you know, in terms of your rugby sort of life and experiences um, in the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, I, I just think it's a bit different. I, do, I just don't think it's about now, but I think it was like just experience um, being in the athlete's village and seeing how other athletes train and... Um, and you could see how other uh, the sevens teams are training and stuff like that. It was just a good experience for me, just not for now, but maybe after rugby as well, just to see how it all works. And uh, you're looking forward, I guess, you know, to getting back into 15 aside? Yeah, yeah, obviously, yes. Um, you know, quite lucky last week that, um, well, some of us had a you know, bit of a rest on the weekend and, you know, get us ready for this weekend against the Blues. What are you expecting against Cardiff Blues? Oh, obviously they they're on fire at the minute. Um, they're on a, they're full of confidence and they they're playing some nice rugby as well. So it's it's going to be a tough game. Um, it was a tough loss for us last season when we played them in Judgment Day. So um, we we know they're going to be physical and and they can play um, some some nice expansive rugby as well. How do you sort of assess you know their back row? They get some of the best jacklers in the business, haven't they? Yeah, they they have, and it's, I think. Like through the team, the, everyone can jackle for them, and you know that's why they're such a threat. And um, in, when we're attacking, they're defending. You know, you got Geth in that can jackle. You got the whole back row. They got if Josh is playing second row, Josh can jackle. Um, and then you've even got their centres and can jackle. You know, you you name it. There's there's loads of threats all the time. So um, when we got the ball in hand, we just got to look after it um, from one to fifteen and make sure that we can keep the ball for as long as we can and put them under pressure. How difficult has it been just in this year, you know, to see the other regions sort of storming ahead a little bit, you know, the Scarlets and, and the Blues of the Ospreys? Yes, yeah, a little bit different, uh, to be honest. Obviously, something that we're, we're not used to, but, you know, f credit to them, really. Some of the the games that you watch that they play in, they play in really well as well. And um, especially last weekend, they got both teams in the semis and, you know, it's only going to help Welsh rugby. Um, but from an Osprey's point of view, it's something obviously that we wanted to be in and be part of, and yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. But you know, it's uh, one of them seasons where you know hopefully we can put things right next year and the year after that. Guess uh, steps have been taken, you know, to sort of redress that situation with uh, the recruitment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, obviously, there's a few signings coming out, and you know the the, the names we want to to make this team better, and um, you know. Hopefully that that's, that will only help us. What what is uh, what what is George going to do? For the Ospreys, do you think? Do you <laughs> oh, I think we all know what George can do. He's world class, and he so um, he's only going to make us better by far. You know, we just you know the, the the game that we're trying to play as well is it's only going to help us if we if we got someone like George out wide that finishes tries for fun. Alan Clark can play it into uh, Ronaldo. Okay, yeah. which run? Cristiano? Or? Cristiano, yeah. and he is a superstar. Yeah, exactly. Well, hopefully if he scores as many goals as Cristiano as does, then I think we'd all be happy. Yeah, and how do you view Alan Clark's appointment? Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's obviously been great for the boys since, um, you know, stepping up. And you know, I think he's, um, he's, a, he's a top bloke, so, you know, anyone that steps into the job and, you know, is a good guy and respects you as... Um, a person, should we say, is is always going to you know help the squad, and we're only going to get better with that. Going back to that uh, Blues back row, you're you're up against two sort of 
uh, top Wales back rowers probably in Ellis Jenkins and Navidi. What, what, what's your take on those two? Yeah, no, they they both you know great players. Um, like I think in Wales, uh, the strength and depth in the back row, I would say, is is pretty unbelievable at the minute. Um, you know, I think if we we're about six or seven players went down, we'd still have a you know ridiculously strong back row, and you know they're up there with with the best in Wales. So you know it's going to be a, a, a tough game. Obviously, George North and Scott Williams and Alan Davis all coming. Are you excited about the uh, the Ospreys' back line next season? Yeah, it's only going to make us better, and um, you know I think. Know, strength and depth in the backs is is something that we probably you know we, we need a bit more of and you no know, it's it's only going to help us as a as a squad um, especially with M three coming. And the last time you met the Blues, you beat them by a single point. Are you expecting a a close encounter this time, or do you think they're going to be resting players looking ahead to the uh, the final? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but um, no, I'd imagine hopefully it'd be closer than last year's judgment game. That's for sure and. Um, no, we can we can make a game of it and hopefully get the, the win. And what do you think of Judgment Day? Do you, do you like the atmosphere in the Principality? Does it add something extra to it? Yeah, I, th I think it's getting better every year. I remember at the start there was um, probably a little bit quiet, should we say, but no, every year I think the atmosphere is getting better and it's, um, it's a good day and I think everyone wants to be part of it as well. Now you hear people saying, oh, Judgment Day's coming up. Um, yeah. you know, everyone wants to go watch two, two great <laughs> games and no, that's what, that's what you want to hear. And uh, the, the Wales summer tour now coming up, um, Gatland did say that he was going to rest um, some players now having been to Australia. Do you think you're going to be one of them or will you, will you be available? I honestly don't have a, have a clue really what, what's going on and that's the honest truth. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. no. And uh, just, just more about Alan Clark, how do you think he, you know, does, does he get the best early? How do you think the players have responded to him since he's taken over the last few months? Yeah, I, th I think it's been good. Um, I think it's only, you know, time will tell as well, you know, hopefully he'll have a bit more time and I think a lot will do with what he does in pre-season, what he wants, um, he can kind of put his stamp on the on the, on the the way we want to play and, and the way he wants everything to run around the Ospreys and stuff like that and I think it's, you know, we've got to give Al a bit of time and, and see how we go from there. And uh, Champions Cup rugby next season, how, is it important, how important is it that you qualify for that? Yeah, obviously it's, it's a pretty big deal for, for the Ospreys to be in that. Um, Obviously, this year, when you play against the best players um, in Europe, that's that's what you want to be part of, and you know that's well here at the Ospreys, that's what we want to do.